Good day and welcome to this brand new episode of Eye on Dubai. I'm Zanila Morrison. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum highlighted the importance of implemented plans and policies aimed at facilitating sustainable food production through the utilization of technology and innovative approaches. Irogo, an innovative grocery supply company, does exactly that. I'm joined by Daniel Solomon, founder of Irogo, to elaborate on how they are creating these solutions that are sustainable for the environment, for food supply, use as well. Daniel, thank you so much for joining us. Let me know, how did this idea come about? What were the issues that you were solving for? Thank you so much and thanks for having me. Um, here ago, we're a food tech platform. We reduce the cost of food while we fight food loss and food waste using technology. Uh, the idea came about uh, as a near need to end inequality, given that there's a lot of food that gets wasted while there's millions of people you know around the world who don't have access to it so the goal was you know how do we ensure that we're able to efficiently you know redirect this food uh, to people who really need them uh reducing the cost of food uh in the process we're also making the planet a better place by ensuring that no food that is good ends up in the landfill and early on in March, there was this dialogue around food security uh, that was launched by the Ministry of Climate Change and Environment. This was looking at exactly that, food security in the UAE. What support did they then lend to you? How did you work with them and the private sector and other stakeholders? How did it come together to make this business magic? Food security is obviously a massive issue when we look at it from you know the total number of water the total number of available food but particularly when we look at it you know as a company a year ago we look at it from the total number of food that gets wasted uh so when we look at you know how many food that needs to be produced uh do we need to produce more or there's a lot more food already available for human consumption um that being wasted so if we can avert food that's been wasted, um, does that mean that we're also helping to solve uh, food security because we're, you know, growing what we need. Most importantly, we're making a fix, efficient use of the product that is already, already available to be eaten. Uh, we've been very fortunate, uh, you know, to be you know, part of the initiative uh, to ensure that, you know, we help promote food loss and food waste, ensuring that more people are more aware of the problem, uh, ensuring that no food goes to the landfill. And that's one of the ways that, you know, we could help promote food security because when food doesn't go to the landfill, we're helping to, you know, um, save water, which is a valuable resource that goes into, you know, making this food and also the food. And, um, you know, part of the initiative is, you know, making sure that, you know, more people are more aware of the problem, making sure that, um, you know, food loss and food waste is caught in half by 2030. Um, and the kind of support we've been getting, you know, in, you know, by the government has been tremendous, uh, as a startup, uh, uh, in the UAE, you know, we've gotten, you know, grants program through op 71, which is the Abu Dhabi e uh, ecosystem for startup. And also, you know, we're part of the MAN program, which is for uh, impact companies. And these are all programs aimed as, you know, helping, you know, companies who are, you know, solving for uh, pressing issues in a society that we see today. And I think that's so important because the biggest issue with food security is not necessarily the production, but what you're talking about exactly. It's lost a loss along the value chain or loss along the supply chain, right up to the consumer. But it does begin with the farmer. So how are you building relationship with the farmers? How are you working, you know, towards creating the sustainable uh, supply chain, starting with them? Uh, th that's an interesting question. Um, the, the supply chain issue and also the food system is broken. Uh, and a lot of times, 30% of every food that gets grown doesn't reach the consumers because they're ugly, they're too small, or the farmer has excess produce. And a lot of time, farmers are left to have a lot of produce, which they cannot uh, sell. Uh, the ends of going to the landfill. And what we've been able to do with our platform is to find 
uh, an efficient platform where farmers are able to list their product and sell directly to us, uh, especially those produce that normally will go to the landfill. Uh, this way, they're able to get more value for the for the food that they've been able to grow. Uh, and we find new avenues by ensuring our customers are buying directly um, you know, from those farmers, costs for promoting farm to fork. And farm to fork is one of the most effective way uh, in really fighting food loss and food waste uh, in the current uh, you know situation that we are, where there's a lot of food that gets wasted before reaching the consumers. And tech, how are you implementing technology? Where's the innovation part? So the the first part of uh, food loss and food waste is obviously how do we ensure that the surplus food that is already been um, produce uh, gets used and we find value for it so at the moment you know the goal is we redirecting this food making sure that every food that has been grown is um, you know reaches the right people now when we're looking at innovation uh, for food loss and food waste uh, we need to start looking beyond just the redirection it's about the elimination the elimination, it comes with predictive models in the future roadmap as we continue to build where you're providing farmers with the right um, data, what to grow at a particular time and what uh, is in season and also what is a lot in the market and also what has been imported at a particular given time. And of course, what can farmers do to also uh, you know prolong different produce? And these are some of the innovative um, you know, elements of technology that helps, you know, to also provide those data uh, to the right policy makers uh, when trying to, you know, eliminate food loss and food waste. And, and I think it's also, it's beyond you, right? There's so many other players that are contributing to food security within the UAE. Uh, the UAE ranked about 23rd out of 113 countries in the food security index in 2022. So it's admirable, um, but there's a lot of work to be done. Who are the other players and how are they needing to come to the party to, to even uh, get the UAE to, to, to do better? So... First, I think we must understand the landscape that, you know, the UAE is one of the best countries to be in the world. And obviously, you know, the the, the global risk index, when we look at where the UAE stands, uh, you know, was remarkable. And we, we've seen that a lot of sectors, even though inflations were high, you know, that was not, uh, that did not really affect, uh, you know, different sectors in the UAE. Um, this is also because of all the, um, you know, supports that, you know, uh, private uh, and non-private organizations are getting here uh, in the UAE. Um, in terms of uh, food, I think, you know, it's because, you know, the supply chain in the UAE here is, you know, a lot robust as compared to, you know, other region. Um, you know, there's different food stocks that comes uh, in into the region and also there's a lot of farmers who are growing uh, as opposed to different years uh, before um so we started to see a lot more uh, production uh, which you know more farmers are able to grow um you know all, all year round and this has really promoted you know a most you know uh balance uh, uh system uh in terms of the supply and demand and we'll continue to see that to grow as you know more farmers are growing here locally. So there are definitely different companies, uh, including farms, uh, who are growing uh, in different seasons, uh, um, not dependent on just one particular season. With new technology and other innovations, um, from a food loss point of view, uh, the way we view it is, you know, we definitely need every. Uh, organizations to be involved, whether it's the restaurants, whether it's um, the supermarket, because it takes, you know, everyone to come together to really um, solve for food loss and food waste, uh, whether it's cooked food, uncooked food. And as we start looking at the, the, the triangle and the funnel that, you know, not just what of course from a food loss point to be, but also what of course, you know, when food has been cooked in a particular sense. 
And you know, I, I think you have a great opportunity as you roll out um, as a pilot uh, in, in the UAE. Uh, but the most interesting part is maybe the impact you will make on food costs. I mean, food in the Emirates increased by 3.9% in September alone of 2023. It's worse uh, in other regions. So, so do you see yourselves making an impact? Because that really then speaks to everybody needing um, to, to get on this type of a bandwagon because, so, so as we can control food inflation. Absolutely. Uh, as a company, we say save food, save money, save the planet. It's a win-win for everybody when we come together, given that when you save food, you're actually helping to save costs. You're also saving the planet because those foods have been averted from going to landfill. Um, so as a company, the goal has always been, you know, how do we reduce, you know, and, you know, eliminate inequality. And one of the things that we see globally is the, you know, the cost of food is, is rising, the, the global risk index, uh, you know, cost of living is, uh, is number one. Um, and one of the things that people always look at when they're looking at, you know, the cost of living is all, always food. Um, so the goal as a platform like ours is, you know, how do we ensure that we reduce, you know, uh, the cost of food, um, you know, because we're able to sell, you know, uh, product and normally go to the landfill, we have an opportunity to help farmers to get more revenue normally that would end up being wasted. And we also help customers and businesses to be able to uh, reduce the bill by up to 30%. And in that case, they're also able to get fresh produce um, and they're also able to, you know, get nutritional food, um, you know, that normally they would not get otherwise. Mm. Thank you so much. I'm hoping that those who are at COP28 are able to listen to this conversation. Food seems like such an easy one to solve for. Uh, so I wish you all the luck. That was Daniel Solomon, founder of Aerogo, on his innovative and sustainable approach to household food consumption and supply. Thank you so much for staying tuned with us throughout. And I hope to catch you next time. From me, Zanella Morrison and the team behind the scenes, it's goodbye for now.